Oh, text is way too big. Let's make that a bit smaller. That's probably good. Adds it, Han. Let's go. Head on over to what's the place called? Megaduta? Yes. We started from Varshan. Yep, there he is. Hello, Varshan. Long time no see. Once more unto the void. Varshan's eyes brighten with at your wait, wait, let me do a recap from what I remember on 6.2. In 6.2 we met Zero, who was the void scent that Xenos had what's the right word? Taken? I guess that's a way to put it. In order to use his Reaver powers. And then using I forget what the, the thing we used, but we somehow were able to turn her back into a hu human form. And then we ended up learning a lot more about Void Scent and stuff in general. And how we ended up going to Zero's Domain, where Barbara ended up attacking. And then we ended up defeating Barbara, and then we had to bring Zero back to uh, the source here. So right now Zero's in the source, regaining her, uh, her Aether. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Once more unto the Void. Varshan's eyes seem to brighten at your arrival, doesn't everyone's? Ah, Brithian. As always, your timing is most fortuitous. I wish to share with you the news concerning Zero. You will recall that, in exchange for Aether, she agreed to aid us in our search for my sister. At Yushola's suggestion, I began providing said Aether in the form of food. Zero has found the arrangement to be agreeable. It has been eating steadily. In large part due to that, she claims to have already made a full recovery. If you and the others are ready as well, I would set forth for the void once more. Okay, sounds good to me. Excellent. I shall inform you Stola and Ishtinin, and then go collect my other vessel from the alchemists. In the meantime, might I ask you to fetch Zero? She was absent when I visited her chambers earlier, but I suspect you will find her in the corridor connecting Yu Yuj and Kama. It seems she's grown partial to the view of the city it affords. Once we have attended to our respective tasks, let us gather here. Okay, sounds good to me, Varshan. So, between 6.2 and 6.3, you could actually find Zero right here. And I accidentally stumbled upon her when we were doing the Tales of Nushan adventure quests, because you needed to go do an objective over here, and Zero was just sitting here. I'm gonna go check and see if her NPC is still there, but I'm pretty sure it's actually gonna be where the quest marker is now. So she used to be, she was over here before, but yeah, she's not anymore since I started 6.3. So let's go ahead and round up, round up zero. Ah, wait, she's up top. Right, between Kama and the other place. Because he said the view, which I means she's probably looking at the bridge over, looking, overlooking this area. Yep, there she is. Hello, Zero. Everyone is so carefree. Yep. Unafraid and unconcerned in spite of their weakness, and how easily their lives could be torn apart in an instant. Such luxuries are lost to us. We have no hopes or dreams, and even the release of death. Only hunger. Others are a means to an end, at times a literal one. We forge covenants with men and come here to feed, or to die. I thought it would be no different when I was summoned by Xenos. Lives were tools to him, 
to be used in discarded whim. In that respect, he was a void sent at heart. But towards you and you alone, he behaved differently. And I cannot fathom why. Me neither. What was it that drove him? What made him choose such an end? But enough about that man. He is dead and we are all better for it. Why are you here? Was there something you needed? Yeah, I need you to come with me. We're going back to the 13th. So you're heading back now. Then as per our bargain, I will go as well. You know, Zero, you're a really party pooper. Would it kill you to s smile a little? Okay, let's go back and meet up with Varshan. And then we'll be able to head on over to the... What was it called again? Uh, uh Ash not Ashdaya. Um, what was the dungeon called? As a doll's legacy, that's right. Over to the vault that we raided and destroyed everything multiple times. Oh, there you go. We got adult Varshan now. I've been to the Great Walk. I mean, the Great Work. Discussing our experiences in the Void with the Alchemists. Oh, I'm sure they were happy to hear about that. Though they found much of it surprising, they were especially shocked to learn that darkness prevents souls from finding rest. That is very interesting. So much ether. I cannot remember the last time I felt such fullness. I can get used to this. If you're ready to get back to it, then so am I. Okay, Estinian. Everyone is here? Good. Let us set forth for the void once more. Uh, Varshan? What is it? Uh. He's... calling. Stinny, when did you learn to speak What's dragon? The meaning of this? Unless I'm mistaken, that was intended for one of your kin. Who? It was for the briefest of moments, but I felt her. Ashdayer. Oh, okay. I thought she was in the void. As did I. Yet the presence was unmistakable. Thus did I call out, only for it to fade and vanish. Perhaps she crossed over to the source, then immediately turned back. I do not know. Could she have found a way home? I highly doubt that. The how of it aside, if she was indeed in the source, there may be clues where she came through that could lead us back to her. Where exactly was it that you felt her presence? Far to the north. That was all I could discern. Yeah, far to the north, like Garlemald? The north, you say? Beyond the bounty, Garlemald. As good a place to start as any. Well, I guess we're not going to the void then. My apologies, Zero. But your return to the void will have to wait. Oh, I don't, I'm sure she's fine with that. I told you before that I have no reason to go back there. Do as you will. 
All right. I presume you wish to stay here in Radzat Han until we return? You've kept me amply fed. I wouldn't be averse to helping you on your search. Oh, looks like Zero's coming. If Ashdaya was indeed here, other Void Scent may have made the journey as well. True, then we better take care of them. Very well. We would welcome your company. If it's decided, then I'll contact our associates in Garlemald. It's me. Still talking everyone's ears off, I trust? Understood. Elfenod? We'll see you there. You're probably Elfenod. We're to rendezvous at Tertium. I always read it as Teratum. But that makes more sense. The T's in a different spot. We'll need to teleport to make it there in time. Can you? I... I know it well from my time as an avatar. Then it seems we're all set. If there is nothing else, let us see to our final preparations. God's Rebel, Lands Tremble. Oh right, this is the second uh, of the Alliance Raids. Or the second part of the Alliance Raid. We'll do that eventually. We're doing MSQ. We gotta get through MSQ first. We have no reason to doubt Vitra. Let us depart for Garthamold as soon as possible. So that was a dragon's roar. Quite a trick. Imbuning's one's a voice with ether. Sister, was that really you? A cold reunion. Estinian is understandably bewildered. By all accounts, Ashdaya is Golbez's prisoner. Yet, if she was in the source, it could be that she managed to escape from the void, if only for a fleeting moment. But that is mere conjecture. If you want the truth, then we must go and find it. Come, let us make for Tertium. Our friends are waiting. Sounds good to me. Oh, we're just gonna teleport there? Straight- oh, I mean, he did say that we were gonna teleport. Yep, straight there. And they've magically got their winter stuff on. I trust you know the associates who will be joining us. Hopefully they will be keeping well. People live in such places, do they? Not that I would presume to know their preferences, but it seems uncomfortable. I thought to depart from Radzat Han sooner, but Yishtola insisted I bring warmer clothes. Okay, so that, that explains they, they went, even though we teleported immediately, they technically went and got their cold, cold clothes. This vessel does not feel cold as such, but she reminded me that, so long as I am Varshan, it would be prudent not to appear overly conspicuous. True. You don't want just normal people being like, oh, there's a dragon right there. Any moment now. Oh, geez, are these all the voiced? I'm not gonna complain, but... My friends. There he is. It's good to see you again. And yeah, of course they have their winter stuff on. They've been here a while. And you. I was worried that the cold wouldn't agree with you. But you're both looking quite well. You get used to it. It helps that there's no shortage of fuel and heaters like before. Glad to hear it. Have you been working in Garlemald all this time? We have. But though the worst is behind them, the people still have a long road ahead. They've taken steps towards forming an interim government, 
but it will be some time before any large-scale reconstruction effort can be carried out in earnest. Right, was that during MSQ, or...? So we'll keep doing what we can until they can finally stand on their own. I think that was the A master. A lot of Garleans wanted nothing to do with us, but they're starting to come round. Slowly, but surely. I think that was during the master rule quests. You're doing a fine job. It sounds like quite an un the undertaking. Indeed, it has not been easy. But we've been able to make progress thanks to the cooperation of like-minded souls. The Allied Nations continue to send supplies, which allow us to meet basic needs such as food and shelter. Meanwhile, Ulysses and a number of soldiers have begun a restoration initiative, with more and more volunteers joining by the day. Like Alphano said, they've got a long road ahead of them. But we'll get there together, one step at a time. Though you yourself helped them take one especially big step, didn't you? In vanquishing that blasphemy in the Tower of Babel? Thank you. I can only hope that your deed will help the people to find peace and closure. Wait, 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 wait. Does it do that line of dialogue if you've not done the Master Roll quests? What brings you to us? And with new company, besides. Oops. This may take rather a long time to explain, but bear with me. I think that was during the Master Roll quests. The 13th! After traveling to the edge of existence, I thought you'd keep your escapades closer to home for a while. <laughs> no! But I suppose there's no stopping you. Not that I'm one to talk, of course. They have really allergy. The heart of an adventurer cannot be denied. You could have at least invited me, too. Surely there was room enough for me and Grahar in the Undersea Vault. <laughs> she just was mad that she wasn't invited. <laughs> I thought you were busy. I know, I know. I only meant to tease. <laughs> Mostly. But on a more serious note, are we sure it's wise to keep Xenos' former avatar around? She didn't seem too keen on being I his avatar. I understand how you came to work together, but nevertheless... I mean, she doesn't seem too keen on being with Xenos. You're right to be cautious. I'm a void scent, after all. But do not conflate me yeah. with Xenos. Yeah. To recall my time in his service, it... angers me. Is that so? I think we'll get along just fine, <laughs> you and I. Lizzie, <laughs> please. <clears throat> now that we are all caught up to the matter at hand. Oh, have we heard his deeper voice? As we were about to resume our search in the void, I felt the presence of my sister Ajdaya in the source. Somewhere in the far north. Perhaps even here in Galmald. If you have seen or heard anything out of the ordinary, I must know. As a matter of fact, we may have. Ooh, okay. In recent days, we have had to contend with a surprising number of voids and and not the lesser kind that occasionally manifest, but ones possessed of considerable power. Oh, okay. You think they might have been summoned? By whom? We're not sure. But as Euless reminded us, practitioners of a certain traditional Garlean art rely upon void sent servants. While there are no known Reapers left in Garlemald, 
We can't rule out the possibility that some are working in secret. I will need to do the Reaper quest line at some point. To summon not one, but several powerful void send is no small feat. But if Ashdaya was indeed called from the void... Then it is likely the same party is responsible. Alternatively, the etheric confluence at the Tower of Babel may have triggered an expansion of natural fissures one could use to cross over. But I think that improbable, if not impossible. Then we must assume these events have indeed been orchestrated. Well, summoned or no, we've been trying to track them to their origin. It's the mountains to the east, we think. Can you guide us there? I would, but the terrain is too difficult to traverse on foot. Nor is flying an option due to the winds. So, how do we get there? Too much ground to cover in any case. Is there no way to narrow it down? There is one place we thought to look first. An isolated village rumored to have once been home to a Reaper order. Oh, okay. That would indeed make an excellent start. Though the question of how to get there remains. Eulus may be of assistance. Let us return to Camp Broken Glass and consult him. Yeah, I mean, why not ask the natives? I'm sure they're gonna have a lot more information on traversing the frigid wilds of Garlemald. Let's teleport on over to Camp Broken Glass. Nice to see how uh, Eulis is doing. Have we talked to him at all since he got enthralled in during his story? I've oh, got a bunch of people to talk to. Of course, Astinian's over to the side being Astinian. I knew the twins wouldn't disappoint. Of course, it's Alphanode. I had tempted, tempered my hopes, but thanks to Alphanode and Alize, we might yet learn something of Ashdaya. Nothing appears to be out of the ordinary here at the camp. Let us see what we find at this village. I expect it's been a while since you spoke with Hulis. He will be glad to see you. The people here struggling to survive. People here struggling to survive. Shouldn't it be are the people here are struggling to survive as it is? Whatever. The last thing they need is for Garlemald to be overrun with Void Scent. A village of Void Scent users. Lest you think I have feelings on this, I don't. What others do is not my concern. Okay. Hello, this has been a long time, no see. Oh, brilliant. Oh, come on, I noticed it and I didn't hit it quite in time. And I see you're traveling with large crew as usual. Not to suggest that's an inconvenience for us, we'd be happy to share our supplies with you and your allies, should you require any. Apologies if we interrupt, Hulis, but there is a matter we wish to discuss. We've just finished our routine briefing, so you come at a good time. Is this about the Void Scent? It is. From what we can discern, they're coming from the mountains to the east. Practitioners of the Reaper Arts once lived in the area, did they not? Yes, they had a village there in Lapis Manilis Caverns. The scythe wielders forged pacts with the Void Scent and took to battle with the beings at their side. For a time, they played an invaluable role in our military, but the advent of Magitek saw them fall out of favor. And when some were unmasked as insurrectionists, the order was outlawed. The village is believed to be long abandoned. Believed. My sister has been taken captive by Void Scent. I sensed her presence in this land, and have come in search of her. If Void Scent have been sighted here, then I believe there is a connection. 
We should like to investigate these caverns you mentioned, but Alphano tells us there is not easily reached. I'm afraid so. Deep snow and tumultuous winds rule out walking and flying. If you want to get anywhere, you're going to need a Magitech snowcraft. Ah, okay, we're gonna get some snowmobiles. Alas, the last remaining functional one we had has broken down. Should still be over in Cerulea Ignis, where it was abandoned. Oh, let's go get it then. Is there anyone who can fix it? Well, let's call, let's call up Sid. I'm sure he'll be happy to help. Perhaps the former engineers of Tapper's Den. Oh, they, they'll work too. Their duty included transporting Ceruleum tanks to Juturna Platform G using Snowcraft. I expect they had a, to maintain a, f a few over the years. That's worth looking into, I'd say. In the course of delivering provisions, I've come to know the people there quite well. If they can help us, I'm sure they will. May I ask you to accompany her? Given the presence of Void Scent, it's best that we avoid traveling alone. In the meantime, will you not tell me more about the mountain? I would like to learn as much as I can before commencing our search in earnest. Come with me. I'll introduce you to someone who's well versed in local geography. Azze, was it? I wish to speak with you. In that case, why don't you come with us to Tapper's Den? We can chat on the way. What, are they going to become best friends? In their love for to hate Xenos? I shall go and brief the contingent on the Void Scent issue, that they too may be prepared. Alright, let's head on over to Tapper's Den. Looks like Alizé and Zero got quite the head start, but they're not quite there yet, we still gotta go around the bend. Alright you two, you two become best friends yet? If you want to eavesdrop, be my guest. It doesn't matter to me. What was it you wished to talk about? Oh, well, this one's voiced. Okay. Again, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. Why do you help these people? Ah, okay. What is it that you stand to gain? That's actually a good question coming from her. I'm sorry? You don't act on behalf of a higher power, nor are you bound by a contract. In spite of this, you help them. Why? <laughs> and there I thought it was something serious. <laughs> that is serious. I help them because I want to. Because it's the right thing to do. But what do you stand to gain? You didn't answer the question. The satisfaction of helping someone? Didn't I? I followed my heart. What I got out of it came after. Was there anything else? If not, let's keep moving. Right. To act not out of obligation or in pursuit of gain. To simply live. And they survive like this. Yep, they sure do. I mean, you can understand coming from, like, where she came from with the 13th. That that's just an absolutely ludicrous thing to think about to live or that way dot 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 we should get back to it before we go 
Are you alright, Zero? Did I say something that confused or upset you? No. I'm simply trying to understand your perspective. If you wish to continue, I'm ready and able. Well, that's a relief. This isn't the sort of place you want to mull over things. It's not much farther to Tapper's Den. I doubt we'll have much trouble finding an engineer when we arrive, so let's speak with the first one we spot. Okay. Sounds good to me. I mean, yeah, I mean, if they've been using the snowmobiles, then hopefully someone will be able to help us. Because it's the right thing to do. This was one of the engineers, I think. Well, his name is Spirited Engineer, so I'd hope so. Wait, I know you. You're the one who roughed up the guards. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. After you left, your contingent friends came along. Our lives are a lot easier now thanks to them. They understood our plight and offered to help. Whether we wanted to stay here or return home, for that, we're truly grateful. We're grateful to you too, Alizé. The trip across the lake is hardly pleasant, but you make it all the same to bring us provisions. Oh, don't mention it. We're just glad we can help. That said, we were actually hoping to ask a favor of you today. We need a Magitech Snowcraft repaired. The one abandoned in Cerulea Ignis. Ingus. Ingens. I-N-G-ing-ens. We were told you might be up to the task. Ah, so you want to ride the mammoth. What? That's what we took to calling the crafts on account of their size. As often as I used them on rigs, I know a thing or two about the maintenance. I'll see if I can get your mammoth roaring again. It's the least I can do to repay your kindness. Wonderful! Please come with us back to Camp Broken Glass, and we'll take it from there. So far, so good, Berlian. Let's be on our way. Well, that went pretty well. Let's head back to Camp Broken Glass, then. All right, we got our engineer. You mortals are more sensitive to the cold than I realized. My body is made differently, so I feel nothing. Oh, so you don't feel this, Zero? Okay, I'll just keep on petting you then. Don't you worry, the mammoth is in good hands. Thank goodness we were able to find someone to help with the repairs. I mean, it seemed like we had a pretty good chance of finding an engineer who knew what they were doing there. Anyway, let's talk to Alpha Node. Well, <sighs> Welcome back. I presume this is the engineer who will help us with the craft. I'll do everything I can to get her up and running again. But I doubt I'll be able to do so quickly, at least on my own. The mammoth is big, and so are its parts. Some strong backs should make work go faster. You have ours. Uh, speak for yourself, Astinian. You finished learning about the mountain. Oh, that's self no, not Astinian. You, fin you finished learning about the mountain, I take it. Aye, we have a solid grasp of that area, as well as the site of the snowcraft. My back is perhaps not strong as some, but I should be able to stand guard for void scent and other unruly wildlife. Much obliged, miss. Then let's all head over to the mammoth and assist what needs fixing. And none of them question why he called it the mammoth. I mean, he had to explain it to us. I guess, I guess, did they make a call on the way back or something? Whatever. They have matters here well in hand, which means we can resume our duties. And they're gone. Would you care to assist us, Berlin? Oh, okay, we're gonna go and help them while they go and repair this stuff. 
Leave it to me. Oh, but you, Zero. I will assist you as well, as payment for answering my question. It's hardly something that demands payment, but we'd be glad for your contribution nonetheless. All right. Oh, right, the unending codex. I completely forgot about that. That was a thing. Where even is that? Is that in the... What's the thing called? Not inventory, it's... The thing that they never ended up using. Collection? Yeah, like... <laughs> they, like, don't even use this thing. They literally made it for the Aether Compass, thinking they'd put, like, stuff in here, but then they, like, didn't. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to everyone, and then Alpha Node. I can't say I understand Alizé's answer, but a debt is a debt. At first, I didn't know what to make of Zero, but her frankness speaks to me. Of course she does. I like her. Of course she does. Kindred spirit, Alpha Node is in need of a helping hand. My thanks again for agreeing to help. The Ilsaport contingent brings in shipments of food and medicine and other necessar necessities by airship. We have yet to deliver a share of supplies to Tertium, however they said it. And I would appreciate if one of you could assist us with the task today. I'll do it. Well, Berlian, it looks like you're with me then. Void scent sightings have been increasing by the day, which is why I had a mind to go out and patrol the Elben Rhyme. Shall we? Okay. Because is more than happy to spend some time with us. Now, where exactly are we heading? Over the middle of the nowhere? Sounds good to me. I mean. I mean, Alize is always happy if she gets to spend time with us. The only other two people who were more excited or as excited were Gr are Graha and Xenos. Void scent were spotted here not long ago. Considering the proximity to Camp Broken Glass, everyone is understandably concerned. But hopefully not for much longer. If you follow this road eastward, I'll have a look up to the north. If you should encounter any void scent, I would begrudge you for dispatching them without me. Uh, yeah, she would. Oh, let's go out on patrol. See if we can find any void scent to slaughter. Oh, let's check the sparkly, big sparkly areas. I see that purple one that I missed. I'll make sure to grab that before I keep going. You survey your surroundings, but do not spy any errant void scent. Make sure to get this before we continue. There we go. Hello, big boy. All done. 204. Let's get this uh, easy one, and then we'll do the last purple one. Serve your surroundings, but do not find any, find any errant void scent. Oh, this one I'm guessing is going to have some. Hello there. And take him down with some fell cleaves. Bunga bunga baby. Well, that was easy. Let's head on. Let's head up here and meet up with Alize, right? Or is there gonna be one more thing to fight? Oh, there's Alize. She's gonna need some help. Nope, she's good. She's got it all handled. Finished, are we? I know this Good. one's voiced. Okay, I'm not complaining, it's just a bit surprising. I guess they got a much bigger budget after Ed Walker. Or 
or after Shadowbringers. The cold doesn't let up out here, does it? Nope. They've the means to keep everyone warm at Camp Broken Glass and Tertium. But the measures are still only temporary. Subsisting on charity. Dreading the day the sympathy of others is exhausted. It's no way to live. They need lasting safety and security. Isn't that why we're working on setting up the government and restoration project? Though things will never be as they once were. If we can restore a modicum of normalcy to their lives, maybe that will be enough for them to move forward. If we're to achieve that, we have to work harder. I have to work harder. Elza, if you worked any harder, you'd literally die. You're doing your best. Anyone can see that. Just try not to overdo it. That's not going to work on Alize. She's still going to overdo it. Oh? Oh, come now. You think I don't know my own limits? Uh, yeah. Still, I appreciate your concern. Well, our work here is done. We should be heading back. Okay. I hope Alpha No and Zero haven't gotten into any trouble. I cannot imagine how awful it must have been to serve as Xenos' avatar. To not only suffer him, but so much else. <laughs> She's a fighter, all right. Like you and me. Yep. Meanwhile, in Tertium, uh oh. What's this gonna be? Thank you, miss. Thank you. Right, she wanted to also probably wants to learn more and try to understand Alize's answer. This feels strangely familiar. Interesting. Excuse me, Alphano. My wife, she's come down with a high fever. Do you think you could take a look at her? Of course. Give me a moment. Zero, may I leave the rest here to you? Fine by me. Thank you again for your help. Uh, Zero, was it? I take it you're one of Alphano's comrades? Kinda? Comrade? We've entered into a cooperative pact, if that's what you mean. Pact? No, no, nothing so formal. What I mean is, you must know each other well. Be on good terms, enjoy each other's <laughs> company, that sort of thing. Zero's not gonna understand this. Then no, he's not my comrade. I have none, nor will I ever, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did I say something odd? Yes. No, not at all. On the contrary, it makes sense. When Alphino and the Contingent first arrived, we rejected them out of hand. Whatever they may have claimed, they were the enemy. 
savages with their savage ways. To accept their help was to admit defeat. But no matter how poorly we treated them, they didn't turn their backs on us. They stayed and listened. That's just the kind of people they are. Makes sense they'd get along with someone like you who tries to push others away. Yeah, that sounds about right. Get along. I'm upholding my part of the bargain. There's nothing more to it than that. If you say so. <laughs> ah, I'd nearly forgotten why I came. Are you hungry? We all get rations, and considering the work you're doing, you're as good as one of us. I am running low on ether. Very well. Azim step style dumplings. Boots, they call them. Never had a dumpling. It's like the kind of bread stuffed with a filling. Meat or vegetables, usually, that you bake or steam. We have our own recipes in Garlemal, too. My mother liked to make them. My brother and sister always fought over the jam-filled ones. J just think of it as bread, all right? How is it still steam? Well, I was saying steam. It's cold in there. It just needs to be warm. And there goes the budget. The animation budget. I should warn you, though, they're spicy. It helps them keep longer, I assume. Too much for the children to handle, though. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting good, or interesting... Well, she took another bite, so that's a good sign. I don't know much about taste. Not anymore. But I do feel a sensation in my mouth. Is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. Now I want a big dumpling. <sighs> That's enough for me. I've heard it said that spices are more akin to fire than flavors. Perhaps that makes them easier to understand. Oh, Eulus, getting acquainted with Zero, are we? Elze, please. You just jealous that your new best friend? talking with someone else um uh, uh, I suppose I am no harm in that a quaint away <laughs> they got chewing chewing animation ah everyone is here excellent thank you all for your hard work I've just finished up myself. Shall we go and find Astinian? Alphenum! Alize! No, what is it? Probably got attacked by a void scent or something. Let's see, do I actually care about any of these? The thing is, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna end up using them. And when I say that, I mean, I'm gonna forget I have them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take the gill.